What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about Fantasy Star Online 2. Today we are explaining how the Claw's potential actually works. We all know that the Claw's weapon is the absolute strongest weapon in the game, but its potential is a little confusing to those new players. Its potential is Light Ring Guardian. Perform 3 normal attacks to change the capabilities for 30 seconds from Faded Reincarnation to increase potency by 18% and reduce damage taken by 30%. So when the potential is not triggered by 3 normal attacks, its potential is passively faded reincarnation, which gives increased potency 12%, reduced PP consumption 20%, and recover 20 PP every 10 seconds. When you attack 3 times, faded reincarnation gets cancelled out and changes to the other potential, light ring guardian. When it's active, your damage increases by 18% and reduced damage taken by 30% for 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds is up, its potential changes back to Faded Reincarnation and starts a 30 second cooldown before you can activate Light Ring Guardian again. This potential can be easily seen by using the Claw's weapon skin. If the potential isn't active, the weapon's parts will be on your character. And when it is active, these weapon parts attach to your weapon indicating that it is active. When it is not active but the potential is ready to be used, there are indications below your character after each normal attack. When the potential is on cooldown and you try to activate it by using normal basic attacks, no indications will appear below your character because it's on cooldown. However, there is another indication showing you when the cooldown elapsed and when you can use it again. So when you see that indication again, you know it's time to use normal attacks to activate your potential. Keep in mind, if the Claw's weapon potential is active and you swap to another weapon, you will lose the active potential. However, if you swap to another Claw's weapon, its potential stays active. Also, for you new players out there who don't know how this potential works and get mad at rangers because they aren't using Blight Rounds, you need to understand that Blight Rounds are loaded onto Rifle's normal basic attack. And since Claw's potential activates on normal attacks, Rangers have to use Blight Rounds in rapid succession to trigger that Claw's potential. Thus, a lower uptime of Blight Rounds. So if you are a new player, don't complain and cry at the Rangers because you see no Blight Rounds. But there is a workaround. All you have to do as a Ranger is have two Claw's weapons, a launcher and a rifle. When you want to activate the Claw's potential, just swap to your Claw's launcher and attack three normal basic attacks to trigger the potential. Then swap back to your Claw's Rifle to keep the potential up, also while keeping your Blight Rounds untouched. And that's it for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening, and until next time.